Korak seeds. Mm. That's what that's what Mango and Luck are doing. They're going around <laughs> the venue looking for Korak seeds. All 900, dude. <laughs> Best of luck to them. Like, we can't play doubles. We gotta find. We gotta get these inventory slots. Mm. Cobol having a little bit of a rough day. He's had a really close call on the loser side. He lost like round two of winners. Yep. A big upset. But uh, doubles is a different story. And there are some players that can really fire up in doubles that might not necessarily do so in singles every single tournament. Mm -hmm. I love that jacket on Disket Boogie. It makes me. It warms my heart. Yeah, everyone looking stylish right now, actually yeah. on stream. Yeah. <coughs> what happened to melee players? They used to not dress good, and then they started dressing good. Well, we grew up, you know. <laughs> things changed. Dude, things just ain't the same. Yeah, man. Cat, uh, players are not looking as greasy <laughs> as they used to be now. We have, all, we we have BO uh, bouncers keeping the stinky people do we? out. Do we do? Do we? That was do at we? the big house. Oh, wow. I like that. Now, of course, nobody would call him a BO bouncer, mm -hmm. but there was an understanding. There was an understanding that if you smelled at a certain level, you are creating a competitive uh, disadvantage for your opponent. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I've played in tournaments where sometimes people would smell and it would actually <laughs> lead to me like fighting two battles. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes wonder because Kobol is one of the sweatiest players in the game and there is not enough sweat analysis getting on. But right now, all game analysis. Going out fast with the doubles. Oh yeah. Right now you see this kid Boogie just holding it down, looking for opportunities to finally land some hits, and he manages to get it right there. Crush needs to separate that, and he does. Yeah. It, it kind of looked like Kobo was just chilling on the platform, looking at the sky, listening to the birds chirp. Uh, <laughs> and the song he heard is, go help this kid, go help yeah, this kid. Exactly, but he did not answer the call. Yeah, next. Right. Here we go. So that's probably going to be the strategy because knowing how great this kid Boogie's uh, conversion rate is on right. grabs when it comes to wobbling, he's going to need Cobalt to be there, be active as possible, right. and protect them to the best of his ability. you got to secure the payload he, he does. while he's planting the bomb. Precisely. But there it is. Right now, it looks like... And another thing, too, as far as, like, this kid Boogie's concerned, sure. he probably might have to have shorter-lived combos in teams yeah. to make Kobo not have to focus too much on saving him, right? Yeah. Get a grab, go into a smash attack. Try to try to do quicker conversions, because the longer you take to do your combos, the easier it is to let Slox and Crush interrupt. And you know what? Slox and Crush, though, keeping things looking good for them. They're both at high enough percent that they can get killed relatively quickly, but they oh, do yeah. have the stock lead. Yeah, they're putting in work right now. Oh, the and drill from the skies. Yeah, Crush put himself in a position to make sure he could get him that stock immediately. Oh my gosh, and there goes Cobalt. Slacks off stage. Watch Crush. See if he can save his teammate right now. That is the place to put your eyes. He could not do it. He tried. Oh man. Oof. He tried. The Diz Kid wall was too thick. There it is, another opportunity, but th that Squall Hammer recovery, man. It is so rough to be playing the. Uh, the solo climber when you're in doubles. Yep. But, oh, well, not 100% because in doubles now, he has support, right? And That's another true. player. He won't get bullied, but yeah. it's also tough for him to have the same utility he has when he's got both himself and the backup climber. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Things looking rough. <laughs> he didn't know where to go. There it is. Kobo trying to see if he can make something happen, but there's the grab. Yeah. Every time Let's you get... think one fox is off of you, the next one comes up the back. Did I just hear a taunt? Just the beginnings of the time. Just a little time. Oh, man. Here it Could is. Could have banana. Oh, probably, probably. I thought I heard Fox say, come on, but I might be wrong. Oh, bad spot for Crush. Oh, and that's man. a stock. Cole okay. cleaning it up quick. Making this a 2v1. Really close game. It came down to that last bit. Unless. Unless Slox just, like, goes. Do you have something to say about it? Above and beyond. Oh, there's okay. one. There's one. This kid Boogie versus Slacks. But this is this is this kid Boogie who has a really good amount of he has a lot of experience playing players here on the East Coast and also the West, you know. And he's got that backup climber, like yeah. this is a fair fight. I don't wow. think this is the first time this kid has been in a situation like this where he's gonna have to face a top level fox. Oh man. Here it is. Go down there, Slacks. Slacks has to be careful. I don't think he wants to get caught. If, he, if he's smart, he doesn't go down there. Yeah. If you think about it, right? Climbers have up tilt, up smash, up air. Uh, more than likely, you'll see the up airs as they can allow this yeah. kid to follow up. Here it is. All right. Setting Let's up the wall. Let's see if Slacks watched the Diz Kid Boogie guide on how to beat Ice Climbers. He gave him the key to the castle. Uh-oh. Let's see if he can come at the king. Oh, just a little off the mark oh, with the grab. Man. 
Gets the whip. Hey, and you now come at the king, you best not miss. Oh. Diz Kid Boogie takes it home for game one. Yep. There it is. Wow, okay, so why is she on a why are they on a different plane? You notice that, right? Like Fox, his his feet were down there. <laughs> Ice climbers were a little bit higher. Well, I think yeah. that's because this kid uh, was the last man standing. Okay. Got those free-for-all rules. I mean, doubles is just free-for-all with, like, colors. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it, it, I just expected to see Ice Oh, oh boy, it's baby. happening. I mean, you didn't even lose, though. Look I thought that. he saves that for the losses. He's a sweaty dude. Yeah. He's hot. That's true. And the people already cheering. Is he going to take more off? Come on, man. Chuck. He took two shirts off. Yeah, Kip. Jeez. That is two layers. Yep. We are getting to the core of Cobalt. Yeah, we are. So if he loses another game, does the last shirt come off? He didn't even lose, though. He won. Oh, yeah, he won. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if he wins, does the shirt come off? Is that how it works? I thought we were playing strip poker. <laughs> Here we go. I guess the rules are different in Florida, dude. Florida's a very Florida's backward. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Florida's like, a backwards place. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Side B's go right. There are zombies there. You remember that, dude? Like, that was crazy. <laughs> there was a zombie sighting. Somebody ate of someone's face. I mean, oh, but Cobble might be able to make up for it right here. He's in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that was a good setup from Diz and Cobble. Managed Diz. to make up for it. Diz kind of let it... Oh, I see you, Diz. False sense of uh, confidence right there, or security rather. Right. He was like, "Yeah, the edge is yours. Take it. The world's yours." And then he came back and <laughs> said, "Nope." <laughs> Took, he swept, pulled you the thought, rug from right under. You room. thought? That's definitely a you thought moment. Yeah. But there it is. Crush in a good position. To take the stop from Cobol. Solid back here, and then we're gonna see one more. But that ice block. Holy oh, man! Eruption, man. Diz kid all alone, just this main climber. But he goes in all the same. Cobol able to follow up. Can they get it? No, oh, the up air just barely misses from Diz, but a save from Crush. Oh, and if we're looking at the stockage right now, red team definitely not doing too bad, but Diz definitely in a good position to lose this stock. Cobalt has to make up for that SD, man, because yeah. SD's hurt against good players like Crush and uh, Slots. All right. Cobalt cleans that up, and Diz Kid loses his first stock, 165%. Really good performance there. Jeez, look at these. All the damage racking up from Slot. So there it is, the quickest of back airs. And there's often this uh -huh. kind of personal thing that happens in doubles where you see that your teammate, you know, they might SD early, they might be getting tilted, and it's your job to give them their confidence back by playing out of your mind. Oh, yeah. I like, think this kid uh, did a little bit of that on that first stock. Yeah, he has. To, he had to, though, if you think about right. it, right? You don't want to let doubt settle in your teammate's oh, mind. Oh, Good pick up. might be a right little crush. doubt there. Oof. Crush just back air. Back here. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Managed to get the follow up there. Looking for an opportunity to sneak right past Cobo Crush. Dancing around, but that shine. Those angles, though. Cobo? Let's see. Diz. Good support from Diz so far, dude. But see how often Slocks and Crush are playing away from each away, other? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they have a lot of confidence, it yeah. seems. It's interesting. Uh, but I ultimately think that it leaves them really vulnerable. Oh, yeah. They're basically saying, we can outplay you all the time. Yeah, we don't have to be next to each other. Right here, though, I mean, I'm kind of liking the way they're playing. Yeah. And well, this is the benefit. Yeah. yeah. It's 3 oh. to 2. Yeah, one high may, percent. One may say the two SDs from Cobalt led to them winning, but yeah. overall, I mean, the fact that they just kept the lead is something that you should give them props yeah. for, right? Some players, yeah. when they have a lead, they let it slip away from their grasp. And if you're going to make your game plan, let's outplay them, if you're able to deliver, that's a good sign. Because that means if you switch your game plan to, okay, let's play together, you already know that you have the mechanical ability, you're confident, you're playing a little bit hot, you might be able to pull that off too. And here it is, the jacket coming off from Slocks. See, that's, if you win a game, you got to take off a particle of clothing. Reverse We got uh, strip reverse smash. strip smash. <laughs> oh, God. Happening. Welcome to Royal Flush. We're here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Yep, for three days straight. The beautiful Tropicana Casino and Resort. It actually is pretty beautiful. Are you staying here this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I decided to stay at the Trop. I almost stayed at the Trip. Thank goodness I didn't decide to go there. What's wrong with the Trip? Well, I heard, you know, that hotel has, like, uh, a lot of, you know, uh, uh, pimps and uh, hoes and... Uh, uh, you have to be careful there, man. I don't want to get caught up in all that business, I feel you. you know? It yeah. Beyond these walls of the Tropicana Resort, like, we talk about how degenerate the people right outside <laughs> these doors are. Beyond the walls of the building, <laughs> it's like I almost, I straight up almost ran over, like, some kind of addict on the way here. <laughs> See, that's like, what I'm people saying. People are, like, falling over in the streets. There's ladies on the slots with rosaries praying to RNGesus. <laughs> that's why we're just going to stay in here, dude. 
Not even an adventure. It's out the madhouse. We're <laughs> staying with our melee. And we're staying with game three of Slox and Crush versus Cobalt and Diz Kid Boogie. Yep, it's going to be a 3 to 5 scenario in case you were wondering. And right now, I'm kind of liking the, the fight that's going on between these guys. Cobalt. What's going on? Cobalt again. lost the stock immediately again. Early. But he's. Um, oh. Uh, all right. Okay. So, so today, side B's are used to SD. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's what we've learned in New 2017. Role. <laughs> New role. 2017 side B in 2017. Man. It happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, Skydiving. Man. This kid always wanted to do it, <laughs> and he finally was able to fulfill his dream. Let's go. Bucket list. <laughs> oh, okay. smart down smash right there. I thought. Oh, yeah. Cobalt. You know what? I kind of like this this team setup with Fox and Ice Climbers. Yeah. If you think about it, the Ice Climbers are very scared to deal with, right? Because they cover so much ground in a short amount of time. Yeah. You zip over, you get a down smash. That ends up with a, an opponent possibly off stage, where right. Fox can already put himself in a good position to just edge guard. And those early percent brawls, if Ice Climbers get one opening, they can do so much damage, maybe more than any other character when you have both of them. Yeah. And very good by Kobo, but wait, what the heck? One fox lives, another dies. A sacrifice must be made. This is some... Some voodoo shit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sad right now. Just seeing a lot of the misplaced the SDs, from the players. Yeah. These guys all sacrificed something to get here, and they are paying the price at last. They probably have a rosary too, dude. Or they need one, <laughs> rather. Oh, the ice block from heaven. Try ah, but this kid yep. sent to hell. Oof. Here it is. So a stock lead. How do you feel about the red team's chances? Oh. Cobalt is playing real good. That's a lot of percent real quick. So I think their chances are real good. I feel like Cobalt could have definitely moved forward, though. You yeah. saw when there was a wobble happening, he kind of just watched his boy. Was he waiting for a pass? It's just like the last game, you know? Oh, he, there, he was waiting for the pass, maybe. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, oh. man, they just put the crush on. Put him in the freezer. Ice. Crushed ice. <laughs> oh boy, here it is. Dude, Crush dies. Let's hope that one day <laughs> Crush teams with ice. Ice. Oh. 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 Uh, um. Uh. All um, right. Uh. Well, things are happening. Are we in the Matrix? Is there a glitch in the system? I don't know. Because I have seen four or five SDs and three side Bs in the wrong direction. Check the Wii, dude. In like ten minutes. Check the Wii or the Check GameCube. the Wii. <laughs> Check the Wii. Something's going on. If I were them, I would X, Y, start, because that was weird. It was weird. Yeah, hold it for three seconds. Make sure to reset your controller so that you know what they don't side B again. I'll give him credit. Always give the player credit if you can. Uh -huh. He side B because he didn't want to do the 2B one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Fourth game, Slocks and Crush about to see the door. They need to try their best to stay inside. That's right. Oh, boy. I thought we were about to see another ST. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I held my breath, too. Oh, oh. solid stuff for the breath, All right. dude. See, I'm yeah. okay with <laughs> In, like, the grand scheme of melee, uh -huh. Cobalt loses his stock quick. That's fine, as long as it's not an ST. Got to always be improving. Yeah. But I love how Cobalt always is ready to go back in, play that carry role that he has to play as Fox. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh no. Blue team looking very beautiful here. I have no idea why he didn't go up there. Like obviously it's it's pretty easy to cover that too, but you know. Gotta make it a little tougher. Mm -hmm. And just get on the edge and Cobalt off stage. What are you oh. doing down there, dude? Teardrop shine right there on Cobalt. Alright, so it's Jeez. been a little bit under a minute. I think that you have experience with four stocks in a minute. Yeah. It's getting pretty rough. I definitely do. <laughs> Axe versus Simon Wolf. Anyway, so or under a minute. Here we go. All right, Diz Kid and Cobal have just dug themselves a huge coal. All right. Uh, it looks like. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as the red team is concerned, they're getting one v one. They're, def they're definitely getting separated really well. We saw that strategy too from the blue team, right? Right. And we were wondering if that was going to actually be good. It's kind of paying in dividends here. Yeah. Especially because like. They're playing on the edges, and that seems to be an area that Cobalt is particularly vulnerable this set. Yeah. They, they found his weakness. To put point. it lightly. I found your weakness. That's definitely what the blue team is saying here. I have calculated every every part of your defenses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Diz? Kid? Cobalt? 
Dang. Okay. You know, two live stock. together, live together, die together. <laughs> two stock. That's not insurmountable. I respect it, dude. Right now, Kobo and this kid looking like Naomi and Ruth. Wherever you go, I'll go. I respect it. Jeez. Kobo. <laughs> looking like Adele. Where you go, I go. Yep, and that is where I'll be buried. When you get shine spiked, I get shine spiked. That's it, man. <laughs> Going and, to game five. And when you die, I'll die. When you die, I'll die. <laughs> Jeez. That was a sloppy game. <laughs> it that was a giant pile of meatballs, mm. and the spaghetti was just at the bottom. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I respect the fact that the Blue Fox boys capitalize on the fact yeah. that their opponents at the edge and it's just like you can't said, keep it together. The door was closing. They're it was. They're holding it they're open. They're holding it open right now. They're Hold like, the Wait, door. I'm not leaving. Hold I was invited door. to this party. Let me show you my Facebook party invite. You think, you thought that I was an uninvited guest. No. But I actually belong here. This is not, this is not a party crashing situation. Yeah. This is a VIP situation. That's it. That's definitely what is happening here. They said we belong here. You guys, I don't know where you got your VIP passes, but you're probably going to have to forfeit them after this set. This is the battle of the VIP pass. Whoever loses has to forfeit it. Hey, nobody took off a, a shirt there. No shirts are off. They're, they look Or jackets. They look super serious. Look at their faces. Focused. Stern. They just Intense. They just want the W at the end of the day. There's one letter in the alphabet. These guys, they're not even saying words to each other. It's all just emotions and intense looks. And then one, what if you just put the whole double set and all you said was W in different tones of voices? Hey, W, 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 come over here. <laughs> it's all w. about that conditioning. <laughs> if you only think about the W, maybe it'll come. You know what's funny? In Japan, if you were to say W so many times, they would think you're laughing on a Nico Nico broadcast. Is that like their version of LOL? Yeah, they spam Ws, <laughs> dude. W, W, W. I think my favorite international LOL is Ja, Ja, Ja. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Cultured. Of course, we're... we're we're men of melee. It's a global phenomenon. It is. It is. Just so happens that, you know, it's a lot of the United States, but it is a global phenomenon nonetheless. And right now we're waiting on these guys to finish. Uh, Coaching? Yeah, each other. I, th I believe Slox and Crush are ready. As you can see, they're in a good position waiting for their opponent to just press start. But maybe this kid and Cobalt are spending all this time deliberating like, just to cool off their teammates. You know, is this they're, like they're, they're the opponents. Grime? Yeah, yeah, From yeah. Mr. Rogers? Yeah, yeah. No, he would never. Uh, I mean, it could be. It's a strategy. These foxes are looking hot. They're they're moving fast. They're getting their punishes. How about we, you know, just uh, wait and you know a little what? bit? I think this kid has turned to Cobalt and he's saying, mm. "You never come to Jesus moment. Stuff's happening off stage." We need to stop that from happening. Yeah, yeah. They're probably talking about the fact that we need to stay away from the edge. The edge, think of it like hot lava. You go there, you get burnt. <laughs> You're right. And another thing, stop side being off the stage. Stop going for ill-advised edge guards. I need you to protect Ooh. me, right? Look at that player one. Look at that. Hey, look, look at Slacks go. Hey, uh, did you ever see Pirates of the Caribbean? Of course. Yeah, I just saw the uh, Jack Sparrow guy, dude. He's right there on the <laughs> left. Oh, and but Jack Sparrow gone. Here we go. Oh my god, risky! Here we they go. They are putting it all on this, black. This is definitely all on black, dude. Well, they're team red, so. Okay, putting all it red. all on red. Yeah, all on red, dude. All on red. And this kid with the fade back. That's Not all red. Yeah, dude, that's already down a stock. Risk. But high risk, high reward. Cobalt looking to get an edge guard here. Can't quite get it out. Going for a grab behind a fox when your back's to the edge is probably the. Craziest thing you ever want to do. Yeah. What if what if Crush shined out a shield? You know, that would Ooh, be taunt from Nana and a down smash from Diz. Taunt to get a kill. Uh huh. Again, small stage. Ice climbers if they get shined, right? They get pushed all the way to the edge, so it's very very risky. But if they get a double ice climbers down smash, that's oh, setting yeah. up for an edge guard pretty much instantly. Oh, let's go, True. Nana. Air dodging to the platform. So like you said, it's a it's a gobble. <laughs> All right, we got six stocks to six. A little bit of damage control by Kobol and Dizkid, but Dizkid at a really high percent, especially for Yoshi's. Crush is trying to do his best to wall out Dizkid to let Slox and Kobol have their 1v1. All right, keep your eye on Dizkid. It's his moment right here to make it break this edge guard, and he gets pushed all the way away. Nothing comes of it until... Oh, my God. That was that was actually really crucial yeah. for that uh, the red team. Yeah, it was looking like they dropped that opportunity, but one up smash, two up smashes, bringing it back. Oh my god, so much damage right there on Crush. And right now, I have more faith in the red team. Before yeah. I was thinking Slox and Crush definitely have it, but with a second ice block. You might oh spoke too god. soon. Yeah, Cobalt cleaning up his game so much this game. 
But that's what happens sometimes is sometimes you have bad games and in doubles sometimes you got good games and it's all about allowing yourself to carry your partner, carry your team, and oh. carry yourself down into the drop zone because uh <laughs> when I why do that, I try? When I saw that SD I was like, oh my god. Why do god. I try? Yeah, <laughs> why do we try? <laughs> yeah, that's, it's all good. <laughs> We're a team dude. Let's go. Oh, okay. Well Cobble <laughs> Cobble is uh, an enigma. He is impossible to, to evaluate. One it's moment true. he is the best player on the screen, and the next moment he is by far the worst. Right now, though, red team looking like they're probably ready to just take this with a W. We're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Slox and Kobo, it's uh, Slox and uh, Crush. Last stock. Stage. Yeah. Everybody's stick. ready to go. Crush at high percent, just yeah. a little bit. This kid's got his prey and a downer from Nana. Can they follow this up? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, nothing happened. Okay, Crush, he has to make it happen here, dude. 1v2. And at 118%, this would be incredible, but an up tilt is all it takes to send Cobble and Bizkid Boogie forward. Oof, what a set. What a set it is. I can't believe they won that. They're incredible players. All four of the guys on screen had such moment of, moments of...